Morello goes in. Upper 80 degree temperatures, a fast track here in Hot Springs today. In goes Walker's win. They're all in line. And they're off. Skelly came out well, so did edge to edge on the inside. Sir Wellington up on the outside. And then comes Joe Frazier. Walker's win, the Illinois Gray, is on the outside, racing in fifth, and then a gap of three and a half to Morello and Tut's Revenge. They zip into that far turn, and Skelly has things his own way here for Ricardo Santana. It's Skelly by two and a half to Sir Wellington, edge to edge. Joe Frazier is in between horses there in fourth. Walker's win is a bit of a wide fifth as they're well spread out. The back pair is a good long way back. Morello and Tut's revenge as Skelly comes to the head of the lane here after a quarter in 21.37. And Skelly comes to the top of the stretch with a dayline advantage, 44.11. But now on the inside, Sir Wellington is trying to make a race of it. Skelly, Santana all out after him. Sir Wellington is second, edge to edge, third, final 16th. And Skelly maintains the lead. He keeps his winning streak going to the end of the meet, and he wins the Lake Hamilton by three and a half over Sir Wellington, edge to edge, and Tut's Revenge. In the infield winner's circle is Skelly. He wraps up this meet, winning his final four races, including two stakes. The Count Fleet last time in the Lake Hamilton now, ridden by Ricardo Santana, Jr. Skelly is a Dark Bay four-year-old gelding by Practical Joke from the mare Adande, bred by H. Allen Poindexter in Kentucky and owned by Red Lane Thoroughbreds, LLC, of Chris Hicks. Hall of Famer Steve Asmussen, the trainer. The time, 109 flat. We welcome to the winner's circle, making the presentation for the Lake Hamilton, to Steve Asmussen's assistant, Darren Fleming, Bud and Georgia Small.